now I would like to share the screen and because we are compared to Islam and Hinduism, the Jiao is very, very young, very, very young. It's about 83 years old. So we got a lot to learn from there. Now, I wish to start by again acknowledging that we are on the land of, we are on the traditional land of the Bunurong and Orangiri people of the Kulin Nation and pay respect to all elders past, present, and emerging. To Casey Multifate Network, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to present peace from Dejo's perspective. And well done for promoting peace, harmony, and understanding in our community by hosting this United Nations Day of the Peace 2022. Now I'm trying to go on my slide. Now, uh, in, Kazuni has introduced me, but in celebrating the this auspicious occasion, I know that all of us would want a world where compassion and empathy overcome suspicion and hatred. And De Jiao is joining all of you in this noble cause. Now, how, now let me introduce our Jade Emperor. He's, it, he's our Supreme Authority and the founder of Tejiao. And we call him Xianming Gao Shang Di Yi Wang Da Tian Jun. His benevolent courage, righteousness, and fairness are worshiped and respected by Buddhism, Taoism, and Tejiao, of course, and bestow many titles by Chinese emperors. How does the gel contribute to peace and harmony or build peace and harmony? Let's begin to explore some of the theological and philosophical origin, setup, and teaching, and the work of the gel. At the end of the presentation, I hope you will see Tejiao is a moral uplifting movement for peace, harmony, and salvation of humanity based on 5,000 years of continuous Chinese civilization. Due to the time allocated time, we were, we were briefly touch on origin of Dejiao and what is Dejiao and spend more time on Dejiao's teaching, its, its interfaith work. And if we have more time or enough time, we will go through the three pillars of Dejiao's work. The origin of Dejiao. It started in 1939, Dejiao and the moral decay caused by human frailty, striving to achieve supremacy over, of personal, political, economic power over, over people, over resources, over nation, that has caused enormous suffering, especially during the Second World War. There were loss of life, innocent life, and it's still happening in the current environment with a world conflict currently like Ukraine and elsewhere. So 
the pioneer Dojo sought divine intervention to end this human suffering. So in 1939, they seek divine intervention. This is unique Dojo character is divine intervention. During that time, Revelation receives saying that we must set up a Dojo in 1939 to uplift morality in Chinese we call leader and compassion Jisan, so that for the salvation of people humanity and promote peace and harmony so peace and salvation are our main reason of existing the jiao is the means virtue, Jiao means teaching. So Da Jiao is a, is a teaching of virtue, asking people to be good. So it's a moral education. Now, what is Da Jiao? How does Da Jiao promote? So what is the Jiao? That the Jiao is Chinese cultural teaching consists of the four books and the five classics and the Tao Te Ching. And those four books and five classics are typical Confucians, Confucian literature. I will touch some, I will touch on some of this book later on in the presentation. The Jiao is a society of great virtue, which is called the De Se. It's ruled by a community of God, deities, and we call them as honorable teacher. They are teacher of virtue and teacher of compassion. The Jiao is grassroots divine organization. That means the, each chapter is consecrate, consecrated through divine intervention. The purpose of which is to meet each location's specific needs and challenges to promote peace, harmony, and salvation for the local community. There are about 400 chapters of the Jiao worldwide. Therefore, the definition, the definition process is an inalienable part of the Jiao's existence. With the Jiao, we, we were talking about teaching of virtue teacher of virtue and compassion, and teacher and student relationship. So the Jiao is a moral uplifting movement. But is the Jiao a religion? Yes, according to the Western dictionary definition of a religion. And some of our practices really fits that. Uh, some of ob observant fits that pattern. The mission of the Jiao is world harmony. In Chinese, they call Su Jie Da Tong. Now, this is Chinese civilization. The culture value, re religiosity, and they are called Tao, Te, Li. Tao, Te means virtue, Li means rights. I, I categorize them as the three fountain of wisdom. Each one of them got ample literature. So,
So what? What is Tao? Tao is what is Tao? <laughs> Tao is the foundation of Chinese cosmology and philosophical philosophical concept. It comprises interconnected opposite yet complementary forces <coughs> non yin and yang it is omnipotent omnipresent and all embracing the source of all things in earth on earth and in heaven and it's the way of life culturally it is heaven and earth and reverently referred to as heavenly parents. In Chinese, they call it Tian Di Fu Mu, right? Fatherly heaven and mother earth. Tao is the destiny of humanity in harmony with nature. So this is what we call Tao of heaven. That is translated as virtue. It's the innate characteristic and attribute of Tao, which are conducive, nurturing, protecting, and enabling the nature to bestow life in harmony with Tao. In Chinese, it's called Tian Di Zi Da De Ye Shen. The Confucian literature, which is the four books and the five classics, translate the metaphysic description of Tao into humanistic behavior, moral compass, social order, and governance. The Jiao adopt 10 of the 26 virtue identified in the analects. Li translated as rights are the precepts, protocol, rules and customary practices re representing legal rules and order, the etiquette of social interaction, civility that govern all human action in harmony in nature known as Tao for humanity. It is Tao Li is a prerequisite of harmonious in all human endeavor, including the ruling of nation. So in Chinese they say Li Zi Yong He Wei Gui. He means harmony. Of peace. So in this fountain of wisdom, it's important we are stressing on harmony, we are stressing on peace. And you talk about Tao, which is the balancing of two forces, yin and yang, the balancing, right? The interconnectivity of Tao, which is, the, we can look at it as the destiny of humanity. The, as the path and lead as the journey that, that define the Chinese civilization and belief system as described as Tao Zi Yi Da Qi Zi Yi Li. So the harmony and unity of human with nature is in China, we call it Tian Lun He Yi, rising from the inter, interdependent interaction of Tao of heaven, Tao for humanity, with the virtue and right, underpin the Chinese philosophy. And Tao Te Ching expresses as Lun Fa Di, Di Fa Tian, Tian Fa Dao, Dao Fa Zi Lan, translated. 
in English is for I am extracted from the world, the world from nature, nature from the way, and the way from what is beneath abstraction. It sounds so dialectic, so simple, and yet profound. So this underlines the third child. This is underlying Chinese philosophy uh, and religiosity. So the interconnectivity, the richness of Tao Te Li, the three fountain of wisdom, are embedded in our holy scripture. It's had only about 387 character. And it encapsulates the wisdom and enshrine the teaching. And this, the Jasini was promulgated in 1942. It is recited at all ceremony. And we will have only one scripture. This is the Jasini, only with 387 characters. So compared with Hinduism, we still a long way to go. The, the Justin then go four parts. The incense prayer, which connect the spiritual world with the honorary teacher, which are the, the, the gods, the sages, the deities. And, the, and then it's invocation prayer, praising the wondrous of virtue and the reverend of Tao and the illogy of yin and yang. And is part of Chinese uh, e, book of change. The scripture make a vow of compassion. It's the main teaching for adherent to observe and practice based on the fountain of wisdom. The epilogue is praising the Jade Emperor's glory and spreading the message of Cynthia from a heavenly then the third job teaching is summarized into the 10 virtues, uh, which are fear, piety, brotherly love, loyalty, sincerity, courtesy, and righteousness. And this is similar to what Mangalam was talking about. But one of the things, sense of shame, is the most important part of it, being that with that sense of shame, that we will not act with uh, disgrace. Benevolence is also important. Benevolence is for the even for the government. government. So the just uh, eight precept is, is part of the Z. Do not cheat, do not be untruthful, do not be greedy, do not be unreasonable, and do not be lazy and resentful, and don't impart hatred. So the most important part, universal morality, we uphold the moral value of Islam for compassion, Christianity, unconditional love, Taoism, respect and virtue, Buddhism, compassion, wisdom, and Confucianism. And you might logically ask, why only five? What happened to Hindu? <laughs> so what happened is that Dutch reached its most inclusive and growth state when it arrived in Malaysia in 1952, where it exposed the gradient to Islam, Malaysia is a country, that's where, where Christianity and Islam got into such a, before that it's only three religion. The joint interface is the most important, one of the most important part, because we can't spread peace and harmony by ourselves in isolation. So our deity, we receive revelation to say, because after 9-11, interfaith program are integrated the main teaching of the objective of the child. And the child bring trust, uh, interfaith bring trust, tolerance, patience, happiness, and key to globalization. And this one, if you look at the words in red, is spelled as interfaith. Such a interfaith breed, inspiration. 
I think that's sorry for that long winded way, but I think I should conclude right now. Thank you.